Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell from Jason O'Dell Photography, luminescentphoto.com, and today I'm going to show you how to install and use the new long exposure sky replacement pack that I just came out with over on my website. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install it and then how to quickly replace the sky very easily using Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so let's go over to the computer and take a look on how we can do this. Okay, if you have my long exposure skies available from uh, luminescentphoto.com, you'll download that and it comes as a zip file. So what you're going to want to do then is double click or extract the folder. You get a folder called long exposure skies and in that folder are all of these high quality uh, sky JPEGs that we're going to load into Photoshop. So the second thing you're going to do after you have download those, save those to your computer, make sure they're backed up somewhere. And then we're going to go into Photoshop and open an image into Photoshop that you want to use. In this case, I have an image of a landscape with a really boring sky. So we're going to replace this with one of these long exposure skies. To do this, we're going to access the sky replacement feature in Photoshop 2022. Go to the edit menu and choose sky replacement. When you do that, it will bring up a panel um, and what you're going to do is click on the sky thumbnail here and you have folders um, that are included with Photoshop. We're going to make a new folder. So click the folder icon down here at the bottom of this panel and we'll call it long exposure uh, skies. And then click it so that it's highlighted. The next thing we're going to do is load the actual sky files themselves. So click the plus down here and go to your folder of long exposure skies. And what you'll want to do is start at the top, click and then shift click the entire range of images. So here's all those JPEG files. They're all large JPEGs and click open when you're done. This is going to load all 30 of those long exposure skies into your version of Photoshop. And from there, it's very easy to just pick a sky that you want to use and replace it on the image. Now, once you've chosen the sky, you can click back out of that dialog and you can use these adjustment parameters in the sky replacement panel to do things like brightness, temperature adjustments to the sky, tweak the lighting of the foreground if you want. And then you're going to be given the choice of how you want to output this. And you can either use the default, which is a group of new layers, or you can use just a duplicate layer that would be flattened of your foreground with the new sky. I usually choose the new layers option because that will allow you to go in and make further refinements and adjustments using layers and masks with the sky yourself. So just click OK. And you can see here it creates a group. I'm in the layers panel over here in Photoshop and you've got the sky, you've got masks, um, the lighting. And if you want to mess with those things um, and, and tinker with them manually, um, if you're good with layers, this is where you can do that. So there you have it, uh, replacing a sky in Photoshop using my new long exposure sky replacement pack. Uh, check it out at luminescentphoto.com and I'll see you online. Thanks a bunch.